Assalamu alaikum and very good morning students. I hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to our online class of class 7. Today's subject is mathematics and topic is geometry. And which one is you think geometry is difficult but not. First, you have to know the some basic things of geometry. Angle. You have to know the angles. You have to know the some corollary of geometry. You have to know the definition of different types of triangle, different types of quadrilateral, different types of other things. So then it will be very easy, I think. So be attentive and learn this one. Then I think geometry, geometry is very, very easy. I think geometry is easy than maths if you first if you learn the basic things of geometry. Okay, let's go to our, our class. Let's start the class. Uh, today's class of Milestone Preparatory KG School, English version, sector 14, Uttar Dhaka. And uh, class seven and um, subject is mathematics and conducted by Jair Rahman. And today's online lecture number is 18 and topic is uh, triangle and which chapter is nine. And what we learn today? Determine the value and applying formula in different quizzes and the interior and exterior angle of the triangle and prove the fundamental theorems. So previous lesson already, uh, our respected teacher already uh, has taken this class MCQ, but I will discuss only the three MCQ, uh, then that is for your better understanding. So 40 number, exercise 5.4 page number 98. 40 number, I will solve this one only just. So here given a plus one by h equal to four, what is the value of a square minus four a plus one? How can you solve this one? Just here, you take the LCM. So this one is a equation. So just you will take the uh, LCM. So LCM will be a here. So a into a when you multiply, then it will be a square plus one is equal to four, right? So then if this A is in divide, when you take in the right side, it will be multiplication. So A square plus one is equal to four A, we can write, right? So when you take this four A in, in taking left side, then it will be minus. So we can take, so A square minus four A, and plus one, okay, plus one is equal to zero. Because in, in the right side, when you take in 4a, then it will be zero. So answer will be zero. What is the square of a plus a whole square? So that means you have to give the, you have to give the, um, just a square. So give this square here. So you are giving the square. So this one just take a this one is a and five just think this one is b okay a plus b whole square so what will be the formula when you take like this one a square uh, plus two a b two a a is a and b is five here right b is five and plus five is square five is square means five is square means five five or twenty five i will write in one line just Okay, I actually am writing in the mouse, so that's why the writing is not uh, good. So a square plus five. So a square plus five to a ten. A square plus uh, ten a plus twenty five. So answer would be this one, right? So like this sixty number a plus b is equal to eight a minus b is equal to four. So a b is equal to what? You know the formula a plus a b is equal to what? You know the a plus b whole square a b is equal to we can write a plus b is equal to a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square right 
So A minus B all is here divided by 4. You can write divided by 4. So just here writing it will be uh, A plus B. A plus B is equal to 8. So 8 is here. 8 is here means 64, right? Uh, 64. 8 is here means 64. Minus A minus B whole square is in 4. 4, 4 are 16. 16 divide 4. So what will be? 6, 64 minus 16, it will be 48. It will be 48. 48 divide 48. That means 48. Uh, 48. This one is 4. 48 divide 4. So it will be 12. Okay, if you cut this one, it will be 12. So like this, you have to solve. Already you have solved this one. So actually, uh, for repeating this one class, so for the previous lesson, already you have done this one. Okay, so let's go to our new lesson. Mm. New lesson is a. Uh, so here we will discuss this one median of the triangle. You already you have maybe learned. So I think uh, if I repeat this one, then it will be better for you for understanding this one. So median of a triangle, a median of a triangle is a line segment joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. And there are three median of a triangle. Do you know how many median of a triangle? There are three median of triangle. Okay, let's see the feature. So like this, okay, like this, this one is a, suppose this one is a triangle. And when this one is a base, this one is a base, okay. So this one, this one is a height and this one is a vertex, so this one is a median, okay. And when this one is a base, so this one is a vertex, so this one is a median. So like this, this one is a median, okay. And this one is called orthocenter, this one. This point is the orthocenter. Okay, now it's median. Uh, now we'll uh, discuss about this altitude of a triangle. Every triangle has three altitudes, one starting from each corner. Okay, in your math book, you will uh, see this one, altitude of a triangle. Every triangle has three altitudes. Okay, and like this, we have seen already this one, this uh, AB is a altitude, like this. Uh, the altitude, what is called altitude of a triangle? So what is altitude actually? actually? The altitude of a triangle is a line segment from a vertex that is perpendicular to the opposite side. So this one is a altitude, right? And this one is a base, this one is a high vertex. So always this altitude always be perpendicular. This one is a perpendicular. And this one is obtuse angle, so here this one is a uh, altitude okay so if you draw this altitude here also you can draw like this if you draw like this and uh, suppose uh, like you can draw here also how it is perpendicular like this okay so this one will be 90 degree so the uh, so like this this one is also altitude so in every triangle there are three altitude okay so have you understood i think uh, now we'll discuss about the, the next Exterior and interior angles of a triangle. You know already this one, exterior and interior and uh, triangle. So now we'll discuss the, suppose this one is a triangle. So angle I have, uh, I have written here, I have given this angle G, this angle A, this angle B. So I will now discuss this, suppose the angle, this one is the exterior angle, already I have marked this one, exterior angle. And this one is the interior, opposite angle okay and this angle of exterior or uh, exterior angle this one is adjacent interior angle adjacent interior angle this one is a opposite interior angle and the measure of this angle the sum of two angle is equal to the exterior angle always be to be equal so that's why i have written uh, here angle G is equal to, we can write angle A plus angle B. This one angle A plus angle B. Now if you add this sum, that is if you add this measure of this angle, so it's equal to angle G. Okay, 
uh, like this. Uh, into now, uh, I think you have understood the exterior angle and interior angle. Mm -hmm. Next. So, uh, what is corollary actually? We already have learned this corollary. Okay, so what is corollary? A corollary is a statement that follows that naturally from some other statement that has either been proven or is generally accepted as a true. Okay, so now uh, here already I have uh, seen you this one, uh, uh, this one exterior and interior angle, but when you, in your math book, there is a uh, four or uh, some corollary that means four corollary so I, I I don't know actually you don't you know or not so I, I to remind you this one so corollary number one if a side of a triangle is extended suppose this one uh, if a triangle uh, if we uh, of a side if if it is extended exterior angle so form exterior angle this one is exterior angle so form and is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles so this one if you understood this Again, I am showing this one. Uh, actually, the sum of this angle is, is equal to the exterior angle. Okay, this one, the corner number one, already I have told this one. So if the side of a triangle is extended, uh, the exterior angle is so form is greater than the each of the two interior opposite angle. This angle will be smaller than the exterior angle. This angle will be smaller than the exterior angle. Always be smaller this one. That one, uh, that one is the acute angle of a right angle triangle are complementary to each other. Suppose I did not here show this one. Suppose uh, if you want to draw a right angle triangle, mm, suppose uh, I want to show you actually, uh, suppose this one is a right angle triangle. Okay, so if this one is 90 degree here, given the acute angle of a right angle triangle, so this one is 90 acute angle, this one is suppose. Uh, it can be uh, 60 degrees, so it will be uh, 30 degrees because uh, they, they are given uh, the complementary to each other. That means they always be equal to 90 degrees. The sum of this angle will always be uh, 90 degrees. That means supplement, complementary. Okay. And uh, uh, the last one, the um, corollary number four. In an equilateral triangle, each angle measures 60 degree. Or is equilateral triangle, you know, uh, is how to draw this one. When the three sides are equal, that means that this one is called equilateral triangle. And always their measure will be 60 degree. Okay. Uh, now, uh, next uh, slide actually. Now, theorem number two. Now, discuss actually uh, this one is the uh, the main topic is today's main topic, the theorem number two. If one side of a triangle is greater than uh, the, sorry, um, this uh, actually, if one side of a triangle is greater than the another, the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. side. So now uh, actually we'll discuss this one. So question already you have read. So first we will uh, write the particular initiation. The triangle ABC be a triangle whose angle, uh, whose side AC is greater than AB. That means the side, the length of AC is greater than the length of AB. So it is required to prove that angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. Okay, angle ABC, that means angle B would be greater than angle C. So now look at the picture here, suppose uh, this one is a right, uh, right angle triangle, suppose let any triangle, so let ABC be a triangle whose AC, this AC is a greater, AC, the length of AC is greater than the AB. Okay, now we have to prove that the angle B is greater than the C, this one. Okay, now, so first uh, we'll write the construction, so construction from AC, from uh, from AC, this one, okay, we cut off AD, we cut off AD is equal to AB. So that, that means the, the length of AB and AD will be equal. That one, uh, the point of B and D, B and D, okay, are joint. So now, now we'll prove this one actually, this step, uh, and this one, step in triangle now, uh, in triangle ABD. Already we have, um, we have told that means the length of AB and AD 
are equal, right? So because we have cut off AD is equal to the AB. So in triangle ABD, just looking this ABD, okay? ABD, the triangle. So when the side are equal, we know this one is the isosceles triangle. So we can write this ADB and ABD are equal. That means this angle, okay, I'm showing this one. And this angle and this angle will be equal. Why? Because in isosceles triangle, base angle are equal. Base angle of an isosceles angle are equal. Okay. So we can write this uh, step one is this. You can write ADB and ABD are equal. Okay. Now step number two in triangle BDC. BDC. So the BDC in triangle, which one is the external angle? This one is external angle. This one is external angle, right? In BDC triangle, in BDC triangle. So here BDC external angle ADB. So ADB, this one is the external angle. So uh, already, uh, uh, already we have read that means the external angle ADB is greater than BCD, BCD, right? Already you have read this one. So ADB is greater than the BCD. And ADB is equal to ADB, ADB means ABD, right? ADB because ADB and ABD are equal. So instead of ADB, it is like this ADB. From step one, we can write ABD. So ADB, we can write ABD is greater than BCD, okay? So that means this angle is smaller than this angle, right? This angle is smaller than the this angle because if this one is the opposite, Opposite this one angle, interior opposite angle. So this one is obviously greater. Already have read this theorem for already one. Uh, and uh, uh, so we can read this one. Or now, so ABD, this one, ABD. Okay? ABD greater than ACB. That means ACB, that means D, uh, B, C, D or ACB same, okay? So like this, uh, we can write here the ABD uh, greater than ACB. Now, uh, ABC, okay? Well, instead of ABD, if ABD is greater than the ACB, ABD is greater than the ACB. So obviously we can write ABC is greater than the ACB because ABD is a part of is a part because ABC is a full angle and ABD is a part of full angle. So we can write ABC greater than angle ABD. Okay, okay. Now, so we can write this one. Therefore, A angle ABC greater than ACB. ABC obviously is, will be greater than the ACB. Now, have you understood this one? So because the here given the ABD already we have told this one, so I think you, you have uh, you better understand this one. Okay, uh, now today the get ready for question. Actually, I will ask some question uh, now. Uh, how many median does the triangle have? Can you tell me now? Tell me and how many altitude does the triangle have? Now tell me the how many altitude does the triangle have? And sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to what? What's the measure of sum of three angles of a triangle? Can you tell? Pause the video and write the answer. Okay, then let again uh, start your video and uh, listen to my answer. How many median? There are three medians of a triangle. How many altitude? There are three altitude of a triangle. The sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree, right? Now, uh, today's uh, uh, is w number uh, 18 theorem number 2 page number 147 and theorem number 2 already uh, that means which one i have discussed that one is a is w okay okay thank you very much